enjoy those killer hamburgers. Speaking of which, as you can see, we've still got quite a bit of it left, so as I promised, I'm going to show you how to make a killer Spanish dish called picadillo. And to do it, you're just going to need a few other things besides the burger. You're going to need a third cup of raisins. You're going to need a cup of green or Kalamata olives. You're going to need a small can of diced, not crushed, not tomato sauce, but diced tomatoes. Of course, Mr. Brewski. Green pepper, about a cup of green pepper, a cup of onions, a few garlic cloves, which we're going to crush and throw into the mix, and you're going to need these three spices, oregano, cumin, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. So stand by and I'll show you how to pull this crowd pleaser together, which is not only great to eat on its own or with rice, but can also make a killer burger. Be right back. All right, we've got everything here. We're going to need to arrange the stove, and you probably think we're going to start with the meat first, right? Wrong, because before we start with the meat, I want to start sautéing some of our vegetables. So let me put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in my jambalaya pan, because this makes a ton. We're going to need a lot. We're going to start off with our onions, our green peppers, and some of our olives. Make sure you get the pimentos, that's the color. Okay. Into that you're going to add some of your seasoning, so I'm going to give it a good, I'd say about a half a teaspoon. Oregano. I'd say about a teaspoon cumin powder. Okay, I'm going to hold off on the red pepper unless you want to make homemade tear gas. And we're just going to start cooking that down. We'll grab a spoon and just stir it around. Unfortunately, you don't have smell of vision, but the first thing you'll notice is, is you can already smell the olives. Like I said, this, this dish is completely unlike regular chili. But it's got a lot of commonality, so you'll recognize some of the ingredients. And then, let's pour in our raisins. You won't see that in chili, will you? And the reason that I like to put everything together in a pan like this is because the, it'll help to reconstitute the seasoning and, you know, start to get everything to working together because this is the type of dish, just like a chili, where it's like a party in your mouth. Every taste, every bite is something different. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to let that cook for, you know, just about a minute or so. Then we're going to add in the burger. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll make a little well right in the middle of this puppy. And that's where we'll start cooking our beef. Notice I've kind of left the spices on the side here because depending on how this starts to smell, I may add a little bit to it. But like I said, less is more at this point. We just want to get all the ingredients working together. Now you also know why I only added about a tablespoon or so of olive oil because obviously you're going to get a little bit of oils out of the burger as well. Okay. Now that we've got that cooking, I might just add just a little more of the cumin. And now I'm going to add a special ingredient. I can get the lid off. Cayenne. Now, notice a lot of it in there. You don't want to put a lot of it on here. Just a little sprinkle. You want to give it a little bit of spice, but you don't want your guests running into the street because their tongues are on fire. And 
again, mix that in. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to add in a little brewski. Well, I put about maybe a third of a bottle in there. You, you know, again, you don't want to kill it, but again, this will help all of the spices reconstitute. It'll also start to bring together all of the elements with the meat and the veggies. It'll help to make a really nice sauce. And then last but not least, we add our diced tomatoes. Okay. And again, keep your spices handy because you may need them. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to put the lid on this puppy. And we're going to let it simmer for about a half hour. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. So now it's time to either plate it or serve it on a bun. Either way, this is one special burger from Man Cave Munchies. Mm -hmm. 